Привет из Днепра! Greetings from Днепр in Ukraine. And in today's video with me, Connor Klein, we're gonna dive into the five reasons why you need to learn Russian now as a Westerner. Let's dive into today's Tip Thursday. Bye, Italy. So the first reason that you need to learn Russian to dive into is for the superior dating options as a guy compared to the West, the countries where Russian is spoken a lot like Russia, the former Soviet Union, obviously here in Ukraine being part of that, it is the best place in terms of dating options as a single guy. Basically, you will be presented with way, way, way better dating options as a single guy here than you are going to be in the West. And the language that those girls speak is in general Russian, or they can speak Russian. It's the lingua franca of the region where the highest concentration of hotties is in the world. Now, before you tell me, hey Connor, but I don't need to learn Russian because they speak English. Well, some of them do, that's for sure. But you definitely can't be successful without Russian. I'm not saying you that there's zero chance. I have clients who come obviously with me and live this our experience. They also even got married and they did not speak Russian with someone from the region. So you can obviously get by with English, but the difference is you leaving money on the table and expanding your options in the dating market here. If you, first of all, learn Russian and actually come and spend more time here. Now, obviously the more time you spend, the more options that you can create, that's pretty logical. But also it goes a little bit deeper in that in terms of you're not a tourist, especially here in Ukraine. Uh, it's pretty tough on the dating market if you are just flying in for a weekend or a week. Basically, there's a perception that guys apply into Ukraine, uh, even if they're not wife hunters, we'll say, but they're here, they're kind of seen as a bit of sex tourists and you don't want to be put in that category. So speaking Russian, definitely on the dating market, a huge advantage to get yourself out of that box. It's also the best scammer defense. The scammer girls basically don't bother guys who speak Russian because they just don't think they're going to be the low hanging simp fruit from the West <laughs> that they can exploit. So that's going to be another reason. And I also have clients who uh, have done well even using English but told me that they know they would do way better if they could speak Russian. So overall basically the place with the highest number of beautiful women concentrated on the planet is in these countries where Russian is widely spoken. So stand out from the crowd, give yourself that competitive advantage and invest in learning Russian for the dating scene. Я слышал, что ваше вино в Молдавии самое вкусное в мире. Я хочу искать домашнее вино где-то в вашей деревне. Может быть, есть. Есть очень вкусное вино. Есть молдавское чистое вино. So there you had Ben from Baldwin Bankrupt, Soviet adventurizing using the Russian language. Like, would his channel have the same character? He didn't speak Russian in not just obviously in countries where Russian is the official language, but also in the former Soviet Union where he's traveling and he wouldn't be able to connect with the local people at all. It wouldn't be the same vibe on his channel. So I think he, actually his channel is a really good advertisement for the value of learning Russian for travel in the region. Now, not only can you use Russian obviously in the former Soviet Union, you can also use it in places where Russians go on holiday quite frequently. So places like the Dominican Republic are quite popular, obviously Egypt, Turkey. So that could be obviously you're traveling somewhere else and you meet some hot Russian chick then. Speaking Russian is always going to be useful for you there. Otherwise, I've made a lot of friends actually by being able to speak Russian where I was living before, when I was living in Brussels, for example. I became really good friends with another Russian lawyer. We actually worked together later on, so I built these connections. And part of the reason why we were able to uh, develop a friendship, I mean, he spoke English fluently and so did my other Russian friend there. But the fact that I was interested in 
Russia in the Russian language and actually learning it definitely helped uh, create a bond between us and that's still a strong friendship I have even today. Definitely don't think that Russian just limits you to the countries where Russian is actually spoken as an official language. They also for travel it's still a massive massive language and really super useful to invest the time in learning for. So the third reason to learn Russian is for relocation. Now that's not going to be for everybody. It might be for you. It might be something to consider. It might not. But keep in mind that it may become something that you want to consider doing in the future, especially how things have been going in the West. Basically, for guys who are planning to move here, you need to have a solution to overcome the language barrier because it is very significant here. The level of English is not very high. There is this company, Education First, who I quote a lot. I cite them a lot in my videos because they rank the level of English proficiency across the world and they put Moscow, Minsk and Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, in their fourth out of five categories. So obviously number one is the highest and the best. You're gonna have countries like Scandinavia or the Netherlands there. Even I think Poland crept into that. So there you have a big device. You're definitely gonna need a solution. And the bottom line is if you are relocating for the long term, you might as well just get cracking and learn Russian because you're going to need it. Of course, here in Ukraine, Ukraine is official language, so all the documents are going to be in Ukrainian and whatnot. But unless you're living in Lviv in the West, then normally you should start by learning Russian because it's the language used most in common life and everyday life here in most of the cities. So I've seen some of my clients who have relocated and they've even though they weren't super excited about learning necessarily a foreign language, some of them had no experience before, they basically accepted that the benefits were going to outweigh uh, the negatives of having to invest time to learn Russian. And in fact, there is a, uh, well, I guess he's a marriage, a marriage agency owner or a matchmaker here who is married to Ukraine and does not invest his time. And uh, basically, he has to rely on his wife for everything. And with a 60% divorce rate in Ukraine. I'm not too sure I would be investing, I would be relying on my, my Ukrainian wife uh, in terms of being able to handle everything for me for the long term here rather than just getting cracking and learning Russian. Yeah, if you're gonna have to learn eventually, just start doing it now. So the next big reason to invest in learning the Russian language is for the business opportunities. Now, it's true that the West in general is wealthier than Eastern Europe, but things are improving here. There are lots of opportunities. You can do things, for example, that have already been done in the West and worked and replicate them here. That's something I talk about a good bit in my high-level consultation groups, Slavic Utopia Secrets, whether that's for Ukraine, Belarus, or Russia. I'm gonna link all those down below. So if you're interested in, say, moving to the region and taking advantage of the business opportunities, then that's a good option for you to get a head start. But basically, there are so many opportunities in terms of marketing also products to Russian speakers, whether it happens to be here or in other countries. Like, give me, let me give you a few examples. Uh, when I was in Cyprus a few years ago, there were so many advertisements for real estate in Russian. So a lot of Russians were moving their money out of Russia to keep it safer, they thought, in Cyprus and buying real estate, obviously pleasant climate there, but it was obviously a massive opportunity uh, to the Russian speaking market. You can look at say the diasporas uh, for Russian speakers, things like in Miami or Brighton Beach, there are a lot of Russian speakers, there are a lot of people who have money. Obviously you've heard of the number of oligarchs in Russia. So there is a class of people with a lot of money. If you can market those people, you can obviously do good business. And I remember there's actually uh, another YouTube channel with, from a matchmaker marriage agency. He basically said, the longer you stay here, the better things get. And part of that is being able to take advantage of things like speaking the language and the business opportunities and the dating opportunities. So definitely business, it is maybe not so talked about, but that is a huge, huge, huge reason to learn Russian as well. So the fifth and final reason that I'm going to go into in today's video why you should learn Russian now is the access that it will give you to Russian culture, the window onto the Russian soul. Now normally when people start to talk about Russian culture and the language, they normally refer, refer to 
the literature, in particular like Dostoevsky and many other famous authors, but to be candid and frank, in my experience, the Russian culture that you're probably going to be more interested in is going to be the more modern Russian culture, like maybe um, popularized by PewDiePie with uh, Russian swear words like Suka Blet and etc. So that's probably going to give you that kind of uh, more motivation to get into it or more relatability than, you know, some staid um, book from the 19th century. Uh, can also be in Russian film, of course, you have a lot of uh, films that are interesting and good to watch TV series in Russian when you go and look. But also the caricature of the Russian body, uh, you know, swearing in Russian, rough, Gothic style, also popularized by uh, Ben from Bald and Bankrupt a bit with his uh, Three Stripes for Life. <laughs> uh, and I know that it's an internet meme from gaming. Uh, you have a lot of these Russian uh, swear words and this uh, image of the Russian kind of petty criminal, the Gopnik. So uh, actually quite a few of them around here in Dnipro. It's not just a meme or a stereotype. <laughs> They're definitely uh, backed up by reality in some parts of the former Soviet Union. So you get access uh, to that, of course. So uh, for you just learning Russian, uh, that you can have that relatability. Also with the people then when you come here, you'll have a little bit of a cultural nexus. And yeah, you can practice your Russian swearing. So, Sukoblad. There you have my five reasons that you have to learn Russian or that you should learn Russian as a Westerner now. So the next question is, how are you going to go about that? So I have done plenty of videos on my channel before because uh, actually before I started focusing on lifestyle here in Eastern Europe, I actually had a language learning blog. Uh, so I focused on, well, I didn't focus on any language. I had lots of language there and I'm a big language geek as you probably guessed from this video. Uh, but I have reviewed a lot of different products. I, did, I still have those up on this channel now. So I'll link them below some of the different uh, products that I've used or services in terms to learn Russian in particular. All down below, you can go and take a look at those videos or open cards. I'll put a few if I still have some space at the end of this video. But going forward, I am going to design a solution for learning Russian for beginners and I will release that in a few months that opportunity to join that so it's going to be able to help you to get up to the very basics in Russian uh, probably if you're planning to move here it's if, you know the basics you need to start off with or if you're coming in for a trip going to have you covered for that and the way to get in on that and be have the opportunity to enroll in that when it's open is by being on my free mailing list. Uh, I only open up my new programs to my most loyal fans who are on that list. So I have a link below. There's actually, a, I made a general language learning free course. So you can go and just look at that. Uh, it's free, it's a bit of a no brainer <laughs> for language learning, some tips on that. So go down below, you type in your email address and then you confirm your email and then you that arrives in your inbox. And later on, you will be notified when I launch that new program. And we together can learn basic Russian. And maybe in the end, I'll end designing another course after that uh, to help guys go to that intermediate uh, phase. So there are the five reasons. It's absolutely glorious day. The weather and the climate is not always the biggest attraction of Eastern Europe. It's obviously very cold in the winter, but when you get weather like this, on the banks of the mighty Dnieper River. It definitely is Klasna. So, see you in the next video. Disvedanya from Dnipro in Ukraine. Sar experience.